This is a statement of Hatim al-Asam, one of the great pious predecessors, radiallahu anhu. He says, then, I place the Kaaba before my very eyes, imagining it. It's as if I'm standing right in front of the Kaaba. And I place the Sirat that goes over hellfire. I place it at my feet. It's as if I can see it at my feet. And I imagine paradise to my right. And I imagine the fire to my left. And I imagine the angel of death standing behind me. And I think and ponder deeply that this will be my final prayer. Then I stand and pray and I am between the state of hope and fear. So I begin the prayer and I say, Allahu Akbar. And I recite the Quran with tartib, giving each of the letters its right and reciting properly and with reverence. And then when I go into ruku'ah, the bowing position, I do so with humility. And when I go into prostration, I prostrate uh, with a reverential fear, with this bushur. When I sit in the position, I do so with sincerity. And when I finish the prayer, I do not know, has it been accepted from me or not? Even after all of that, I still remain in a state between hope and fear. Is it accepted or not? 